Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back into Chicanic. I hope everybody's having a great day. Why do I look like Miss Roper today? Well, that's because we're not fixing anything in this video. It is a special day. It is Eclipse Day and I am in the path of totality. So I thought I'd bring y'all with me to see this super awesome eclipse. And while we're at it, I might as well show you what I do when I'm not fixing chainsaws. This is my 40 by 50 garden full of raised beds and in-ground garden. Now it is the beginning of the season. So a lot of these beds were just getting ready. I got, you know, bags of my rabbit poop over here. I do already have my cucumbers um, planted on each side of my trellis. I did that about a week ago and it will go from looking like this barren to beautiful and lush. I got all these beds ready, knocking these ones out today. It is already 84 degrees here in Arkansas and I don't know, like 80% humidity. So I am melting a little bit. I planted some okra. I've got broccoli and cabbage in this one. This one's full of onions. And then over here, I started a bunch of garlic, but most of the uh, garlic got zapped by the freeze we had so bad this winter. And then I got a bunch of my um, two pound yellow tomatoes, Dr. Richie's in here. So I guess you can call it Chicanics Organics, although I am not a good enough gardener to make any kind of gardening channel. I just do it for a hobby and to make sure my family has good food. I have this beautiful nectarine tree with probably a thousand nectarines on it right now. Of course, they won't all grow and hopefully we get some. Every year I just battle the bugs, but I'm gonna stay on top of it this year for sure. My plum tree got totally nuked by the cold weather, a little snap after it started blooming. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna have any plums this year. I still have all these tomatoes that I got to get in the ground. A lot of cherry tomatoes, some uh, Mr. Stripies and brandy wines. I did have to buy some pepper plants because I did not have any seeds for the chili red hot that Ron loves so much. Super excited because like four years ago we planted these uh, apple trees. We have four different kinds and this is our first year to have a bunch of little baby apples. This is my fig tree. I did not realize when you grow fig trees here in Arkansas, you need to put them against a wall. So every year this thing dies back to nothing and has to come back. But as you can see here, it's making its little comeback. It's got some little tiny foliage on it. And before long, this whole thing will be completely full of leaves and giving me like golf ball size figs. So I still have tons of plant starts that I started from seeds that I haven't gotten the ground yet. And those will go in as soon as I get the beds done. But I also do a bunch of ornamental stuff. I have my bed of banana trees that although it looks pretty barren right now, in about two months, it's going to look like this. You can grow banana trees in Arkansas, but you can't ever get bananas because they die every year because it gets too cold here. Been working on this corner this week, getting it all weeded and pretty again. Need some flowers still, but that's my beautiful Japanese maple. One of my favorite trees in the yard. I still got strawberries to plant. These are actually cloned figs off that tree I just showed you. I've got lots of mustard and spinach and kale and some herbs. And then all my pepper babies. Lots and lots of peppers, some more herbs. I got fennel and rosemary and sage. And then working on getting everything else cleaned up. This bed's been tasking. It was full of weeds. Like I said, everything looks barren, but it'll be full here in the next month or so. But I do have to keep a gate up because somebody likes to get in there and go to the bathroom and kick my mulch all over the place. Beefcake, don't you? Don't you? Yes. And, and she does it too because you do it. She did so good and went to the bathroom in the back of the yard, but now she sees you do it and now she does it. You're a bad influence. Yes, you are. And I'm on a mission this year to get lemons. These are my little baby lemons. And the last few years I've completely failed because if you do not take super uber care of them during the winter time, which I have to keep it in the garage under lights and, you know, keep it all watered, which, you know, I forget about during the winter time, um, it will lose all of its leaves. Well, this year I did it. All of its leaves were pretty much still there. So hopefully it spends more time putting energy into the fruit instead of making leaves. And I get some lemons this year. 
Now I have blackberries and blueberries growing, but I'm trying grapes this year. I'm gonna see what happens. Come out to my front yard and it looks like a mess, don't it? This 40 foot long bed of greenery. And uh, you would think you just need to pull all that out and start fresh. Well, there's a bunch of mulch under there, but I have some <laughs> invasive growing plants that you know what? I'm keeping because these even though they're pokey as all get out, I tried to get rid of. And so I grew some mint. And what will mint do? It'll take over the entire world. What are you doing? There's Khajiit. What are you doing, babies? Really? You're so mouthy. So to find out, now that I have a 40 foot long bed of delicious smelling mint, I finally went ahead and let the pokey ones grow. And what happened? I grew fruit, okay? <laughs> it's blackberries. So I have an entire 40 foot bed full of blackberries and mint. So I'm keeping it. I'm just gonna let it grow. So you can see the shade's looking different. The eclipse is happening right now. Let's go check it out. So yeah, I'm finding out that my phone does not want to focus in you on this eclipse. So let me see if I can try yeah, again though. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. It's doing a little bit. Oh yeah. Uh, let's check this out. Oh, we're about a third of the way there now. Sun. Let's see, can we see it anymore? Yeah, you can tell a little bit. So it is about 115 right now. We're supposed to have a full eclipse at 149, right? 149? 150. I think maximum is like 151. So we're getting there. So we're munching on some kettle corn because Ron figured out how to make it really easy and we didn't know it was so easy. We always waited to the fair. And it's slightly delicious, isn't it? Yeah. It's 120 now, and it's a lot further. All right. Oh, there's just too much glare with this phone. That was once 300 years, that's how like, it goes, right? Once 300 something. Well, this is yeah, yeah, yeah. years ago. No. This is part we of had it. it. Wow. That was freaking wow. awesome. We need to be looking as it turns to go. Yeah. Oh! Three minutes. Getting there! Getting there! Three minutes. so crazy like Which even it? now yeah, it's yeah. so dark out here my phone makes it look like it's not well that was super awesome i am so lucky to be able to experience that if you got to be in the path of totality tell me about your experience in the comment box below y'all have a great day